Hey there everyone, Chris with another video here and today we're going to be talking about descriptions in your Google My Business listing. Descriptions are very important and a lot of businesses aren't maximizing the value they can get from a really good description in their GMB profile. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to business.google.com. Now, don't worry about any of these links. I'm going to put all the links I mentioned in the description below. You need to make sure you're logged in to the appropriate email address, the address that has access to your GMB listing. The other thing I'll say here is a business owner should own their GMB listing. There's owners and there are managers. And a lot of times I see situations where an agency owns the GMB listing and the business owner might not even have access. So make sure that's not the case. We're going to talk about users and user permissions in another video later on this month. But I do want to make sure that as a business owner, you control your Google My Business profile. It is so important. You need to own it. You need to be in control. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, if you want to, you know, modify your description, you're going to head over here to info and then you're going to scroll down here to business description. Now for a lot of these videos this month, I'm going to be showing you GMB profiles that have not yet been optimized. Uh, by the way, full belly deli, as you can see the business I'm working on, if you're ever in the Reno, Truckee, Tahoe area, amazing sandwich shop. They make great breakfast burritos, sandwiches, highly recommend them. But as you can see, they don't have a business description. So what you do is you click right here and you add in a description. Now you have up to 750 characters to use. I recommend you use as much of that real estate as possible. Now there is some strategy behind this though and in what you put in here. You don't want to keyword stuff. Okay, you don't want to just repeat, you know, the common keywords over and over again. But what you do want to do is use a lot of the related terms and phrases that Google has associated with what you do. Okay, so there are a couple of different ways you can do that. One tool I recommend is KeywordTool.io. Now again, I'll be putting the links down below in the description so you don't need to write this down. But if you were to go ahead, if let's say you're a rheumatologist and you go ahead and search for rheumatologist here, it's going to give you some really good information. Now, of course, it's going to give you a list of cities and that sort of stuff. But you scroll past that, you get arthritis, autoimmune, lupus, appointment, doctor. These are phrases that Google is now associating with a rheumatologist. And you want to make sure that you not only include those in your website, but you also include those in your Google My Business description. So KeywordTool.io is an important tool just to kind of get the juices flowing, get you thinking about some other keywords that you could include. Another thing that I do recommend including is location-based information. So if you're in Phoenix, Arizona, you want to mention something about Phoenix, Arizona. You might want to mention the neighborhood you're in. Um, if your city has an acronym or an alternate name, like I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, we often call it the Valley or the Valley of the Sun, I would probably want to use that phrase as well. These are all things that, again, Google is going to associate with our location information, and the more we use it, the more Google can understand about our business. So just to wrap up and give you a few tips, don't spam keywords in your Google My Business description. No need to try and add links that's not necessary or hashtags either. You don't need to add hashtags. I know we do that in a lot of social platforms and stuff, but no need to add uh, hashtags. Do use related keywords. Try and use up as much of the real estate as you can and mention some location information. If you do that, you'll have a great description for your Google My Business profile. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll see you in another video.